Hello, how's it going everyone? This is Etho and welcome to another episode of Project Ozone 2. So we're over in the end here again today guys. We fought the Chaos Guardian last episode. It was a very easy fight. We were well well geared for it. Uh, and now today we're trying to think of ways of maybe farming those crystals better. So I looked at the comments. There was a few suggestions. One thing that was mentioned is if I shoot the Chaos Guardian from a distance here, it, it'll it kill it without its shields activating. So I'm just slowly creeping in. No, it looks like uh, if we get that purple text, that means it failed. Oh, it actually worked. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> uh... Not sure exactly how that worked, but spamming arrows eventually did kill it. Alright, where's this uh, purple particles gonna end up here? Oh, it slowly drifts towards the island it came from. Oh, interesting. Because you can, I think you can lead the Chaos Guardian away from the island. Like, it'll chase you. And I guess that's how it gets back to where it belongs. Okay. Let's go get our, our crystal here. Uh, I am going to try catch that thing in the safari net again because a lot of you guys said you saw it on the Wayla. So it did appear, it's just invisible. So we gotta be we gotta be quick with this. What I'll do is make a, a cage here so he can't escape. Alright, let's do a three by three or something like that. Two blocks tall should work. Those are some weird sounds. <laughs> okay. Oh. Sounds are getting weirder. Watch as Ito very slowly makes a cage for the, the invisible mob that may or may not exist here. Okay, so now we, we click this with the wand of animation and we gotta catch it real quick. Okay, let's see if it'll work. So watch the Wayla at the top of the screen to see if it actually shows up. Oh, animated block. I got it. I got it. I actually did get it. So it's in here. Cool. Okay, island's starting to explode. Let's get out of here. Uh, home base. There we go. So apparently if you hold shift and use your scroll wheel, you can change the, the area where this takes you without having to, like, shift right click and look at this. Another tip I got in the comments. I'm learning things. Uh-huh. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know if this is going to work, even though we could catch the crystal with this. Uh, let's turn it on. We'll see what happens with that. Make sure he doesn't escape here. Like, it's not going to drop crystal shards. It's going to drop the crystal block, if anything. Which, uh, I don't know if we can get the crystal from. Okay, watch the way, lad. Did anything spawn here? It'll be invisible to him, I'm, I'm guessing here. Oh, anime block. I just saw it. There he is. Okay, nothing's dropping. Mm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <gasps> Dude, or did I just... Dude, I think it works. Right? Yeah, they, they actually dropped the shards. <laughs> I think... Oh, no, it says Chaos Crystal, not the shards. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. So this is not what we want. It's a different item. Uh, which means we have to try places if we can and then break it. And then it'll give us the shards. Let's make sure we got them all here. Okay, let's see if we can place it. Should we do it at home? Let's not do it at home. Because <laughs> the island does explode after you break it. So maybe let's go somewhere else. Somewhere where I don't mind if it blows something up. Okay. Oh! No! Wait, wait, wait. No, it's not there. Okay, so it disappears right after you place it, I think. Can't break it either before it disappears. Hmm... The only thing I can think of is maybe it needs to play, be placed on infused obsidian. Because this is what we got to break in order to get the shards. No. Nope. Ok. 
Okay, what if we place it a little bit higher? Maybe the base of it needs to be there. Let's try it. That looked like the right height. Mm, yeah, I don't think it's going to work, guys. Oh, that was a good idea, though. Okay, so just to clarify here, what we have are Chaos Crystals, item 1445, but what we want are Chaos Shards, 5015. So it's a different item. They look exactly the same, though, but this is the block form, and that's the item form up here, the shard. Uh, we're going to try a couple more things here, though, just to be thrilled. Let's see if an autonomous activator can place it. It can. Same thing. It disappears right away. Let's give this a pick. We'll see if we can mine it instantly. I doubt it. <laughs> no, it didn't break it. Try again. Try again. The other idea is I'm going to give it the shards, and I'm going to try mine it. Like, within that tick, it gets placed and disappears. I'm just going to hold. Nope, not looking good. Sneaking makes no difference. I don't think we can get him. So here's the deal. Whenever you place a block in Minecraft, it checks whether or not any further updates or some other condition needs to happen. Like if you place a block of water in the nether, for example, right after you place it, it checks, oh, I'm in the nether, then it disappears. Stuff like that. Or if you place plants where they, they can't exist, they, they break and things like that. Thing is, it happens whenever a player places it. Uh, it also happens like when an autonomous activator places it because that counts as a fake player. The autonomous activator, that's the way they work. But I think something like a filler might not do the check. In which case the block might actually stick around after it's placed. Like whenever we place these crystals, it checks, oh, I don't, I don't, I can't exist here. <laughs> and then it disappears. Let's see if this uh, tricks it. So just first off here, make sure this works. Okay, if we remove these. And can we get this to activate again, or do we have to place and break it? Nope. Oh. Okay, that updated it. So whenever we do that, it updates. Okay, good to know. So let's, uh, let's, oops, I did it again. <laughs> break them again. So we're going to put the shards in here, or the crystals, and update it. No, oh, they still disappear. All right, so while we tried, it was a good idea, but I think we're going to have to just kill the Chaos Guardians ourselves to get the shards. Each crystal we break gives us five shards, and each of these Chaos Ingots requires... We need a Chaos Core for each Catalyst, and each of these cores requires one shard. So basically, uh, we got three rows of five here. That's 15 shards per ingot, and we get five shards per crystal. Uh, for killing the the Chaos Guardian, so three dragons per ingots, and we're going to need about a stack or two stacks of these, so we're looking at, you know, two to four hundred uh, Chaos Guardian fights. Yeah. <laughs> but, in the comments, some of you told me that the crystal is affected by looting, so if we get the World Breaker, this has Fortune 10, uh, we'll get 20 shards per crystal, so that's like four times as much, which will bring it down to maybe 25 to 50 fights. Did I do math right? I don't know. Uh, so that's much more reasonable. So this is what we got to make next here. Shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. So let's get our infinity ingots. Uh, we need one chaos core for that. Good. We got one of these ingots a long time ago from a quest as well, so that's kind of nice. Now I know how expensive they actually are. <laughs> it was uh, probably the best quest item we've gotten, besides the bow, of course. And the sword we got is pretty good, too. Okay. Perfect. Something like that, right? Uh, this went down here. We need neutronium. Doo, doo, doo. And then there's like a bunch of different picks we needed. All right, that's not even close, but it's a, it's a start. So let's look at this again, World Breaker. wonder if there's any way of getting more than Fortune 10, because that would be ideal. We're going to need a Red Matter pick and Morning Star. I think we made the Morning Star for sure. Where did I put that stuff? 
I'm trying not to overload our system, so I've just been scattering stuff in these chests. We got the Morning Star. That's a Qatar. Oh, this is the Staff of Power. We need that too. Okay, let's just rummage through our chests here a little bit, see what we got. Uh, I think this is one of the things we needed. The Eviscerator. And nothing in there I see. I don't think we need that. I think that's it. So we got to make... We need a red matter pick then, I think. Red matter pick. Is that expensive? Oh, is it just this? That shouldn't be too tough. Oh, it's a Visio. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a it's a many-step crafting thing. Uh-huh. How do we get diamond picks, even? Oh, you can just craft them. Okay. Okay. Red matter pick. Okay, Eviscerator's there. Red morning star below it. Good, and I think this one on the other side of the Morning Star. So we need a dark pick. That should be really cheap. I think that's this dark steel. All right? Oh yeah, that's the cheapest one. Oh, I don't know if we've ever done the atomic disassembler. No, we haven't. Okay, that's pretty cheap as well. Thankfully, this goes there. Oh, that's charging. <laughs> Hopefully that didn't mess it up. It took the power from our our Qubit cell here. Good. That's one down, so let's make the destruction pick. And then the jackhammer is going to be a, an annoying one too, probably. Uh, we need some unstables. Just three. Good. That's done. Now the jackhammer. Didn't get any of these in the quests, I don't think. So we're probably missing just about everything there. Yeah. So let's make a small battery. That's cheap but annoying. <laughs> uh, okay, we need two of those, I think. And sulfur, we have... Oh, I guess it's in block form. Okay, there we go. We got the battery, and now we need a diamond drill. That's easy, good. Throw that in there. I think we got everything now. Cool. And with that, I think our pick is done here. So this goes there, this goes there, and that goes there. World Breaker, mining level 34. I want to do a bit of a comparison here, actually. There's two picks in the game, like two end game picks. One of them, we just made the World Breaker. But then there's a Tinker's Construct one as well. Both of them use these Infinity Ingots. And this is how we make the Tinker's Construct one. I'm not sure which one's better. I'm guessing we might be able to get this up to Fortune 10 as well, but maybe not. Um, let's put it over here. We'll put it together. Good. All right, so these are our two endgame picks here. World Breaker has Fortune 10 built in. This is 16 modifiers, and then it'll upgrade as we use it as well. So what I want to try to do is put Fortune on first here. We'll upgrade it as much as we can. Okay, and then we'll throw that in here. Good, it goes up to 450. And it says Fortune 3 only, though. That kind of sucks. Hmm. So what I'm going to try to do, I guess, is let's go do some mining with this, and we'll see if we can get it higher than Fortune 3 with the Iguana upgrades that we get from it as well. If we're lucky, it might hit 10. Um, I don't think it'll go beyond that, though, but I'm, I'm curious if it does. Oh, we're, oh, there they are. We just got reinforced one. It's useless. Oh, we're on fire. <laughs> let's just, uh, let's do a bunch of mining here and see what, what upgrades we get. All right, well, we just about maxed out this pick here, and it didn't get any more additional fortune... Uh, modifiers on it, so I think Fortune 3 is the limit for the Tinker's Tools. Uh, so I had another idea here, though. <laughs> We're going to make another World Breaker. I got all this stuff together for another one here. I know, it's a little bit crazy. Again, this has Fortune 10 just built into it. Uh, but I noticed you can also add Fortune 3 on it. Wait, what's this say? Uh, it just explains how it works. Yeah, I don't think I can make anything higher than a Fortune 3 book as I was trying to figure that out. 
Um, but when you look at it, it says Fortune 3. So I'm wondering if it adds the Fortune 3 on top of the Fortune 10, if it uh, ignores it when, when you actually go to use it, or if, uh, it re if it replaces it, if it goes from Fortune 10 to Fortune 3. That's what I'm guessing is going to happen, but it's going to be one of those three things, I think. Anyways, there's a chance I just messed up that pick. That's why I made a second one here. <laughs> So this is the Fortune 10 built in. This is the one we modified. And we're going to go fight the Chaos Dragon again. And then we'll... Well, we'll do it twice. We'll try both out. Okay, here we go. So we should get 20 shards, according to what you guys said in the comments here. Normally we get 5 with the Fortune 3. But with Fortune 10, it should be 20. Oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. I can't even break this thing. Uh, yeah, we got exactly 20. Very good. So that's what we were expecting. Let's get out of here. We'll try on, we'll try out the other pick. Okay, so now let's try out the Fortune 3 one that we modified here. So we're either going to get 5 shards, 20, or more. Uh, hopefully more. <laughs> that's the whole point of this, but, uh, we'll see. Okay, I got the right one selected. Yep. Yeah. We got 20, so it's the same. Alright, so it ignores the Fortune 3 you put on it. All right, everybody, so check it out. We got 100 Chaos Shards right now. I'm going to farm up a few more here, and then we'll probably get to to crafting and stuff. Uh, so it turns out, with this World Breaker, you don't even need to kill the Chaos Guardian. <laughs> so this is what I've been doing to farm them. Uh, basically, you just ignore the Chaos Guardian. You see it's got the red barrier around it. Normally, you wouldn't be able to break that, uh, but this pick's special. Uh, so that's kind of nice. And then basically we get out of here. We don't even bother killing the dragon or, or breaking any of the crystals. We just ignore it. Uh, the island does explode after you break it still. Then we just fly 1,000 blocks over to the next island. Then we get 20 more. And the crystal always spawns at exactly increments of 1,000. So it's going to be like right, right around here. It's easier to spot the area too because there's more obsidian. Like at the epicenter. Alright, got another one. So we just got 40 shards, just like that. Probably get about 200 or so and then we'll, we'll get to it here. Okay, so I think it would be a good idea for us to make this dire auto crafting table, or a few of them even. Because uh, I think that will automate the extreme crafting here, so I don't have to enter the ingredients every single time, hopefully. But we'll find out. Unfortunately, though, this does require a Chaos Catalyst. So I think our first goal here is going to be to try and make a stack of these things. Because a lot of the machines we want to make require these, so may as well just try get a few of them to begin with here. Uh, one thing, we're going to need Cosmic Meatballs again. We're going to need the Cosmic Stew and also the end pearl things yeah all the fancy items all right we'll try run through this step by step i guess and see if we can do it now i think we're going to be close though there might be one or two things here i i didn't think about that we we haven't gotten yet um yeah so stew cosmic beatballs and pearls we're going to need eternal singularities infinity catalysts and infinity stars so this is how we make the Eternal Singularities. Again, we automated that with our crazy mob farm there. Uh, this is how we make the Catalysts, which also require the Singularities. <laughs> so it's a double up on those. Uh, we are going to need a few more here. All right, let's start putting this stuff in. So stack of these, stack those, those, good. Infinity stars, we should have a few now. I've been leaving that running. Okay, and we need all four types of cores. So that's the big reason we needed the chaos shards. Uh, let's start auto crafting the cores here. We need a stack of these. Oh, no, no uh, recipe for those actually. Okay, let's make one. Huh, I thought I would have put one in by now. <laughs> oh, I doubled up again. Oops. Okay, let's throw this in here. Clear this, because we don't need two. All right, so 
let's make cores. Let's see how long this takes. I think it has to make all the, the previous steps, right? Let's just enter it. 64. Oh. Okay. Uh, I tell you what, let's make a recipe for that too then. Let's do that. Good. Throw that in there. Go back to the core thing. I guess we only need 61 for a stack. Okay, we got all the ingredients there. That's a good sign. 61 chaos shards. So it's one each. Oh, that's pretty quick too. Good. Good, good. Okay, so then we're also going to need the draconic cores, wyvern cores, and awakened cores. Oh, now it's slowed down. I guess it used what it had up. Okay, that's going to take a little while. <laughs> uh, I think I saw we needed the capacitors too, these ones. So we'll grab those. Uh, let's check it out again. Okay, what else do we need here? Neutronium blocks, okay, and crystal matrix. Should have those. We're producing them in the farm, except for the matrix ones. They just take a ton of EMC. Uh, we don't have a full stack, so I guess we'll start duplicating those. Okay, matrix. Good. I guess I'll shut that off now. Okay, so here's the deal. I know we're just like crafting stacks of these items and dropping them in here like they're nothing. Uh, but really, this is the accumulation of everything. All the crazy stuff we've done in this series has led up to this point right here. And this is where we discover <laughs> if we have had any serious flaws in our thinking, anything we missed with our automation. We're going to find out with this. And I'm already starting to notice some possible chinks in our armor here. Uh, with our setup here. Uh, so the chaos cores, I'm starting to realize just how crazy they are, or the these things here. So we were able to make one stack of them, no problem, but if we go to make another one, it's like, uh-oh. I realize, like, we haven't been making draconium forever. I think most of our draconium came from killing the ender dragons. And I just haven't had to make any. But now it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> we need thousands of them. Or thousands of ingots for for this. So we should definitely start sifting that again. So we'll turn this on. I'm going to try to put some fortune upgrades in here too. But I think this is slow. We might just have to go to the end and mine it, honestly. Uh, I don't know if we can keep up with power. We don't care about power. Power is basically free for us at this point. But with this maxed out, like we're not getting a lot, I don't think. You see the odd one ever there? Every, every now and then. I think it's only at 1% chance of dropping it. Let's check out um, uh, Draconium again. So it's making this this gravel here. I think that's not going up at all. <laughs> do I have this shut off? Oh, I do. See, I, I tried to shut all this stuff off because it's causing so much lag. But in the time it's been running, we only got one gravel. That's like two ingots, I think. So I don't think that's the way to go, actually. Like, we're not, we're not producing enough that way. I think we have to just go, use a digital miner in the end and, and grab it like that, maybe. Or kill more ender dragons. Because that was a good source of it too. Okay, let's shut this off. That's that's pathetic. Even with it maxed out and six of them running constantly. <laughs> Using gajillions of power, it's not good enough. Okay, the other issue is we also need the same amount of rich mangaloy. And I couldn't figure out like why you guys made such a big deal about this. We have enough here to make like three more stacks maybe of those uh, chaos catalysts but uh, I had to turn this back on too and this is causes so much lag I hate running that thing <laughs> but it's a good thing we built it because we really need it now uh, okay let's get back to it here catalyst I don't think we'll actually be able to finish this today so the chipsets that's another thing we need here there's eight different chipsets and I've been making those for a few episodes now, just constantly running. Basically, I load this up with ingredients, 
for all eight different types here and let it run for a while. So we should be good in that department for a few stacks anyways. Well, we don't have a lot of them. <laughs> I thought there would be more in there. I guess I haven't done it for that long. So basically we need one stack of each of those, I think, for this. They take such a long time produce to produce. Anything with those lasers takes forever. And I don't think you can speed it up unless we build more uh, of those tables. And we also need it for the crystals. We have 3,000 of those left. Been making those pretty much a whole series. So they shouldn't be an issue. Okay. Um, advanced circuits from Quantum Flux. Those were kind of an issue, I think. I shut that machine off a long time ago, too. Hopefully that's not an issue. <laughs> Maybe I'll just grab a stack out of there and stack out of there so it'll start running again. But I don't think that's going to be a big problem. So basically any item in this list here that has an EMC value is no issue for us. It's the ones that don't have EMC that I'm worried about. Because <laughs> the EMC ones we can just copy real easy. We have a farm that produces bajillions of EMC. Uh, atomic. Yeah, so I'm not worried about that stuff. It's the other stuff. Uh, like those wafers, for example. Let's look at it again. Infinity. There's eight different wafers, I think. Oh, I keep doing that. It's this one. Yeah, so we need diamond, carbon, titanium, red gem. I think we're producing those. Blue, white, basic, advanced. Let's look in here what ones we can actually make. Made a recipe for that. I want to see which ones I've made recipes for that'll work. Or that have been automated. That one's automated. So we might just be missing two. Carbon, basic, I think those are automated. Oh, no, they're not. Huh, okay. Well, I guess let's start making these. Very good, so we got our wafers being made here. We just have the one machine. This is how long it takes it to make three. It does three at a time, but it's really slow. <laughs> uh, but I added recipes here for the other six so we can auto craft them. And then the basic wafers and the advanced wafers have an EMC value. So we can just duplicate those, but these six don't. So uh, I'm going to get those crafting and it'll take a bit of time. Uh, the other thing we need, though, is all the different types of machine frames. All of these have EMC. So they're really easy for us to get. So we can just fill those in. Uh, the quantum flux one, steel casings, machine frames from RF tools. And good, good. All right, so we got quite a bit of these done already. Uh, one of them that I was worried about before was a wireless connector because, yeah, that over there. <laughs> but you remember, we turned it into one of those mobs, animated mobs, and put in our, our mob farm. So let's see how many of those we have now. 900, because I did not want to craft those. I knew they were going to be a pain. So that worked out great. Uh, let's look again. So we have to get all the different uh, Minicio blocks and stuff, all the different tiers to it. Mass Vicio, what's that? Oh, it's just nine of those. Okay, so I think that's all EMC stuff, except for the very basic... Minicio. And we only have 300 in there, but thankfully we still have a few thousand of these from before. <laughs> so I don't think that's going to be an issue. We're going to make many stacks of the catalysts with that. Minicio. Do we have the other blocks made? No, we don't. Or what would they be called? Cruci Crucio? I think we got to take... Is it the ingots? No, it must be this then. Okay, so that has EMC, thankfully. Okay, so witherproof glass, witherproof block, reinforced obsidian, and draconium infused obsidian. We're getting the draconium infused obsidian whenever I kill one of those chaos guardians. Just picking it up randomly, and we got quite a bit stored. Uh, wither, what is it? Witherproof blocks and glass. Looks like we have some in there. Let's see if we make some. Oh, it's actually really cheap. It's just a wither essence, and we have 14,000 in there. I think we were farming it. 
So I'm not worried about that. That's not an issue. And the glass. Uh, why don't I see it here? Is it invisible? Oh, it's over there. <laughs> oh, same deal. It's except for instead of stone, you use glass. Okay, not a not a big issue with that one. And then there was reinforced obsidian has EMC. That's not an issue. Good. Throw those in here. And grab a stack of that stuff. Okay, and there was one block called Smexy, I think. <laughs> uh, which I'm a little bit concerned about. It has EMC. Oh, it's compressed cobblestone. Really? Is it smelted? Well, that's not hard to do. Oh, yes it is. I, I, don't, I don't know what machine to use. Wait, what? It doesn't go in there. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> Compressed cobblestone item number 1612. This is 1612. Does it want me to do it one at a time for some reason? No. Oh, okay, that worked. I wonder why it doesn't like these machines. That's weird. Please work, please work, please work. And yes. <laughs> Okay, that was a, a bit weird. Get a few of these. And I do want to see who's on the picture here. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> all right. Uh, that's all good. Okay, we're also going to need the thorium and uranium rods. The uranium ones, everything in here has an EMC value, so they're no issue. Uh, the thorium ones, though, lead plates are fine. Heating coils are fine. It's the dust. There's no way of uh, duplicating the dust. We actually have to go mine this stuff. And we don't have a lot of it, so that's probably going to be another one of our bottlenecks. We'll have to go uh, mine up a bunch of it, probably, because we won't be able to make too many stacks of them. But let's try it out here. Uranium. Or let's look up rods. Where's thorium? Did I not put one in for thorium? Oh, maybe not. Okay, let's add a recipe for that then. Thorium. Is this the right one? Hopefully. Nope, that one. Okay. And throw that in here. Okay, let's see if we make uh, 64 of these things. Okay, it's 192. That's not too bad. Uh, so that brings us down to our final two items. If I didn't miss anything here, we need the turret base tier fives and we need the advanced PCBs. Uh, it looks like everything in this has an EMC. It's just a lot of stages to crafting, except for one item. There's one non EMC item here. That's the enriched iron. So we're going to have to produce this. It's this coal or charcoal plus iron. So that's not too difficult. Uh, I'm going to make one more of these machines, the metallurgic infusers, and we'll set that up next to our other ones here if we can. Can I bust this? Oh, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> no, everything's broken now. Uh, put that back. Put this here if we can. All right, I might just manually feed it into it. I'm not too concerned. Yeah, we'll let it run. I guess I got to speed upgrade that and stuff too, though. Uh, upgrades. Do we have the upgrades? Yes, we got lots of upgrades. And energy. Okay, we'll load those in. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, so we got our tier 5 base blueprint in there, as well as the 5 different tiers of sensors for it. So now if we try to auto craft, we want 64 of those. We're missing refined obsidian. Okay, is that EMC? Yeah, okay, I just never use it for things, I guess. What did I just throw? Oh, that's my thing. <laughs> I don't wanna lose that. Tier five, uh, 64 should, should be good now. And 64 tablets, how many of those do we have in there? 
12k. Okay, that's plenty. Am I still making those? Oh, I am. Whoops. <laughs> that's been in there for a long time. I forgot about it. Okay, that should be good. So it's just the advanced PCBs that I'm worried about because even though we have it set up to work, it'll load the ingredients in here. The problem is the pressure never gets high enough to actually craft the thing, I believe. So we need to make another compressor. Is that what they're called? We want another one of the RF compressors. This one here, right? Oh, we can actually make it. Okay, that's good. So, I think the issue is, like, we got it, we have one built down over here, but I think it's too far away from the uh, compression chamber there that the pressure can never get high enough. Even though it's venting the pressure in places, it just doesn't distribute quickly through it. So, I'm going to have to stick this thing over here, I think. I'm a little bit worried it's going to cause an explosion, though, if I put it closer, too. <laughs> but uh, we'll find out. Oh, where am I? There. I'm all over the place here. Energy cables. Let's grab some more of these. Why is it, why is everything popping out of my inventory now? Is it the top you connect to? Yeah. And hopefully we still got power running through these cables. I don't know. I've torn down so many things by now. Okay, is that going to bring the, the pressure up? Is this running? Hmm. So I put some heat sinks on this thing. We got some speed upgrades in, security upgrades. It was running, but it was really slow. Now I'm worried it's too much. Because it's about to hit five bars. And when it hits five bars... Oh, it hit five bars. Does this explode at five? <laughs> It's venting. I can hear it venting, but it's producing too much air, I think, now. All right. Yeah, I'm going to take some of these out. Oh, it dropped. Let's try and make it so the air pressure doesn't go up. So with three, it's going down. Four, it's going up, right? We want to hit that sweet spot. So I guess let's let's stick to three. It should be safe. Okay. And that one PCB did craft, so I think we have enough pressure now. Let's try just do 10 at a time. Let's not overdo it. Let's not get crazy here. I think the pressure drops a ton at each one it makes. I think. Okay, it's crafting them. Oh, maybe it doesn't use that much. It's down to 4.7. Yeah, the thing is, if we slow that thing down so much, then it takes forever to craft these things. <laughs> but if we speed it up a lot, then it explodes, so it's hard to find a balance. Unless we make a really fancy system here with tons of vents and, and sensors and stuff. Okay, that seems fine, though, so I think, uh, I think we're safe to do it. PCB. Got 11 in there now. Cool. So let's try just go for the full thing. 53. Oh, out of plastic. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. We're at the finish line. We just hit 60. <laughs> I saved the worst one for last. I should have done it earlier because it's the slowest craft time on this thing. Like, legit 20 to 30 minutes to get a stack of these things. Had to make the capacitors first, then the transistors, and now has to craft the boards. But we're finally there. 62... 63. I don't think we can speed that up anymore either. It's maxed out. And 64. <laughs> 64. Yes, we got it. So I think that was it, right? I think we actually fin. Oh. <laughs> okay, I should have maybe been double checking this while waiting. What did we miss? There's no way we missed anything. Got the PCBs. Shapeless, yep. Yeah. Um, well, I'll be. Did I put the tier 5s in? Maybe I didn't put those in. Oh, I think that's what it is. 
That's right. We left it crafting, and I, I didn't bother putting them in. There we go. 64 Chaos Catalysts. Bam. Did it. We're done. <laughs> a bit of a long episode here, so we're going to wrap up. Uh, so thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.